Hello, my name is Alexander Demidovsky, and welcome to this series about OpenVINO Deep Learning Workbench, the tool that helps you easily analyze and optimize deep learning models and prepare them for the deployment. In previous video, we learned what is Deep Learning Workbench, what are its goals, and what you can achieve with it. And today we will learn how to run Deep Learning Workbench on the Mac OS system. It all starts with the documentation web page, and here you need to open the Run Deep Learning Workbench locally web page and fill that simple form. Once you're done, you would get the instructions that you need to follow in order to run Deep Learning Workbench on your system. So let's see. First of all, you need to identify whether Docker is installed on your system. Then you need to select the target OS and then the available accelerators. Please note that for Mac systems, only CPU is available as a target accelerator. If you want to run your models and benchmark and optimize them for other accelerators like GPU or Neural Compute Stick 2, then you need to run Deep Learning Workbench on the Ubuntu system or have it as a remote machine. So the very first step is installing Docker on your macOS system. And the process is quite simple. When you follow the official guide, you see that you need to download the Docker desktop application and uh, install it by dragging, dropping this application to the Applications folder. When you're done, you need to run it. And you would see that that little whale appears at the top of the screen, as well as the Docker dash dashboard. And here in the Docker dashboard, you see the status of the Docker desktop application. When it is green, it means that you can proceed to the next step. The next step is configuring Docker desktop for your needs. As Dell Workbench is quite a resource consuming application because it benchmarks and optimizes deep learning models and your deep learning model might be quite heavy, then you need to make sure that a Docker desktop allocates enough resources for the containers. And in order to make sure that it is so, you need to go to the Docker desktop settings by clicking the gear button in the Docker desktop application. There in the advanced section, you need to allocate at least eight gigabytes of RAM for the Docker containers. Of course, if you have more resources available, then allocate more. Once you've done that, make sure that you clicked apply and restart in order to make those changes applied for the Docker engine. Once you see that the status bar of the Docker engine is green again, we can proceed to the next step. As you might have noticed in the forum, there is the selection between using the Python starter or a plain Docker command. So depending on your needs, you can choose any of them, but the Python starter is recommended as it provides you with a better user experience. It provides you all the feedback in case you are doing something wrong. And also it shows you the real progress. So you always see how much is left before the deal workbench is actually started. So as it is the Python application, then you need to make sure that Python and PIP is already installed. So as you're using the macOS system, Python is already a part of the distribution. So you can verify it by running the Python minus minus version of the terminal. And after doing that, you need to also make sure that PIP is also installed. So if it is there, then running this command would show you the version of the application. If not, then you need to follow instructions on installing Python package manager from the web form. Once it is there, you can proceed to the step when you need to install Python starter. And for that, you need to copy this command and run it. It will just install the OpenVINO Warbench starter application that would help you to run Warbench later. Once it is installed, you can proceed and actually run Deep Learning Warbench by copying this command and executing in the terminal. What this command does is checking whether the Docker image with that version of the Warbench is present on the machine. And if not, it downloads it from the internet. And once it is there, then it runs Warbench as a fresh Docker container. When the process is done, you can see that logo printed in the terminal. And you can follow the link in the terminal in order to find the Deep Learning Warbench up and running. So congratulations, your Deep Learning Workbench 
is there, and you can immediately start experimenting with your models, optimizing them, and preparing for the deployment. When you want to find more configurations of running deploying Workbench, please explore the documentation page. There are plenty of configurations of how you can customize deploying Workbench. So, thank you for watching. In next episodes, we will learn how to optimize your model and get the best performance on your accelerator. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.